Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click, like, and subscribe to the channel to get all the updates. Thanks again. Check that out. This looks good. One thing I was saying about the uh, the Great Plains uh, Stuka is the the skeleton of the uh, the flaps. Check that out. I don't know if you can see that, but they are very interesting. They are very interesting. They are kind of separate and apart. All right, we are here with the uh, Great Plains Stuka. Got it up and running, ready to go. Sounds nice. So let's take it up. All right, got the Great Plains Stuka up and running. Great Plains Stuka, 70 inch. Got an OS 91 four stroke on it. We're gonna take it up for a maiden flight, see how it does. Everything's looking pretty good. Let's go. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel. Let to see how this one does. It's got an OS 91 on there and it's healthy. Taxi it out. All right. Here goes nothing. Let's see how it does. Oh, nice. Smooth. <laughs> Very smooth. Nice. Right off the bat, it's a very docile airplane. Try to stay out of the sun. Wow. It's just very smooth. Got a light breeze going on, not much. But it is very smooth right off the bat it only needed one click of down elevator that's it ailerons are dead on check her out man flies really good ailerons are very interesting they kind of droop down And that four-stroke sound is amazing. We'll do a flyby. I really like the uh, the EDFs and the nitros. But there's something about the sound of a four-stroke in a warbird. I mean, it just sets the tone. That 91 four-stroke powers her perfectly. And the JU-87 Stuka was a dive bomber. And it obviously handled very well, if this is anything like the, uh, the full scale. So I'm going to back out of power. Just slow it down and see how it does. Nice. It's got a three blade prop on there, so that's going to eat up some of the speed that it would have. It's going to have a little bit more thrust, but uh, I might switch from the three blade to a two blade and it'll really allow that uh, that 91 to uh, put some power out. Right now it's lugged down and I could tell it, but it flies amazingly. Look at that. Shows up so well. And the weather came out perfect. But it is such a very smooth and responsive flyer. And right off the bat it was locked in. I mean, there's not more you could want. So 
So what we'll do is uh, I'm going to take it up a little high and I'm going to back out the, uh, the throttle and we're going to test to see how the flaps are. See how it's going to act. Oh wow, it did nothing except slow down. Very effective. Dive bomber, we'll have to do some dive bombing with this thing then. Look at that. Got flaps down, we're doing dive bomb run. That's awesome. Just awesome. Flaps back up. So we'll set up for a landing. Do a nice long roll out. We'll set it up. Coming in. Nice. Nice. That was cool. That was cool. I love this hobby, man. It's cool. Where else can you get all these different airplanes? Try them. They all fly differently. And this one looks good doing it. Look at it. I mean, that's awesome. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel. We'll fuel this thing up and we'll take it up and uh, shake it down a little more.